Hello, I'm Philip Skipper and I'm a research scientist and I'm currently researching into bacteria and how they become resistant to antibiotics. I'm also looking at what do we use when the antibiotics don't work anymore and one of the options is bacteriophage and this picture here is showing you a bacteriophage you might have come across before, it's one of the first ones found. What they are is they're bacterial viruses and by entering the bacteria and reproducing they kill the bacteria. Then they spread off and kill even more of that type of bacteria. The important thing about them is that they only kill one type of bacteria. So unlike antibiotics when they're used, which will kill lots of different types of bacteria, can give you an upset stomach, all these problems, bacteriophage don't do that. They just kill their specific type of bacteria. I'm going to be looking, the bacteria I'm looking at is Acinetobacter baumannii, which isn't a common name, but it's one of the superbugs. And so I'm looking at it for two reasons. For the bacteriophage research, I'm looking at it because there currently aren't any bacteriophage that are known about are available to be used as treatments. Um, from an antibiotic point of view, I'm looking at it because it's coming close to being resistant to every single bat antibiotic there is, and this is worrying. So if we can find out what, how it's becoming resistant to the antibiotics, um, don't get me wrong, a lot of work's been done on this, and I'm going to be looking at a very small area of how they develop resistance which hasn't been looked at much. Um, so if I can work out how to prevent them becoming resistant to all the antibiotics then that's valuable and hopefully it'll help us in the future when we find when we're using bacteriophage or some other antimicrobial to prevent these new drugs becoming useless as well. So that's basically the project. Um, if I can get enough Siphon funding, uh, the university will waive my bench fees, which is quite a substantial amount of money. They're willing to do that, and it'll keep me going for the next year. What can you do? Well, if you've got this far, you'll have had a look at the website and had a look down the rewards, and maybe you're thinking, well, I can't really afford to support this but I think it's really worth doing. And you're humming and you're right. Well, if you can't afford to support it financially, then please tell your friends. Um, everything you can do to raise awareness about this research increases the chance of it being funded, and you'll know that you've done something. Because of that option, I'm not doing what some of the other people are doing. I'm not making my blog private to only the people who have funded it. The blog is completely accessible so that anyone can read about it, anyone can find out about the research. Um, if you do decide to fund, well there's a list of rewards um, if you want. And thank you for listening and I hope you find my project one that's fundable.